Hey guys, um, so this is a video on how to make a work cited page. And I'm sure that Mr. Trout or Miss Gordon taught you how to do this. I taught my students last semester when we researched, but uh, I was just gonna go over the basics of an outline and also how to cite real quickly. So this is the heading. You guys, everybody has to have a heading. This is not my rule. This is called MLA, Modern Language Association. And currently we're using MLA 8. Um, so you can always consult the Purdue OWL website for MLA 8. It's a great resource for this. But basically you just have your name, my name, um, the class and the period that you have me and also the date. So I've updated this date and I have a heading here and then Roman numeral one. This paragraph looks like it's about Poseidon. Let me close this out really fast. Um, paragraph, let's see. And in, in this paragraph, it looks like they're using two sources, one from Bullfinch, which this is fake guys. I just put this on there to show a student how to do this but we need to introduce a book title in italics and also introduce the author's name. Um, and then at the end of the paragraph, I probably, or the end of the source information, I need um, the page number, okay? And I could write Bullfinch45 just to be sure. Then I had a different source, Edith Hamilton. And again, this is fake. This person needs to change this uh, paragraph here. Uh, but like basically this is from Edith Hamilton in the book mythology, which is a great resource for the Trojan War. And then it, this ended on page 255. So I can tell that all this information is from Bullfinch because I have the beginning of the source and I have the end of the source information right here. So it makes like a kind of like a sandwich, like this is all Bullfinch, right? And then right here, this is all Hamilton. So paragraph two is all about Zeus, right? And it, this is a base, these topic sentences shouldn't be cited. They're very basic. Like, so Poseidon is the god of sea. He's also known as Neptune, right? He's feisty. Paragraph two, Zeus is the main gods. I don't think that shocks anybody, right? So that's not something I need to cite. But I definitely need to cite everything else in my outline because this is a research outline. So here I've got, according to the article, Zeus... Um, uh, I got, according to the article, Zeus, Greek God, Sky. This is a website. So I can tell that because it's in quotations. Um, and then at the end of my source information, it looks like under B, I have Zeus again. So all this came from this website, I can tell. Now, how many times do I need to introduce my source? I just need to introduce my source one time. Um, and then I never have to do it again. I just have to use in-text citations. Hang on, someone's at the door. Come on in. I'm just making a video. Okay, and then on this one, under C, you guys notice I went back to that Hamilton source, Hamilton 260, which is a page number from this book, and, and then I went back to Bullfinch. So just I'm showing where I got these sources from. Sorry about that. It was just some girls coming to grab some stuff that they forgot. And then page 88, oh, where is that? That's Bullfinch. Okay, so I'm good. And then at the end, I would probably, after D, after my info here, I would have one more citation um, just because I don't want to plagiarize, right? And all of this is paraphrased and summarized. It's not quoted. We're not going to quote it all in this paper. Um, and then finally, this third paragraph, this is about the oracle. This is basic. I don't cite a topic sentence. Here I have a book. I've got Sean Sheehan. It's from this page, right? The book title is italicized. At this end of the source information, again, I have a page number. Here I have another internet site. So you have to cite like this. I'm sorry, I didn't make up the rules. But all this in this, um, like D to three, this is all from the article, The Oracle at Delphi. And, and this is like all fake stuff that I put on this outline just to show you guys. Now we're excited. Now we're getting to this. Now it should be on its own page, but this person was trying to save paper. I love that. Notice how it's alphabetical. That's really nice. One thing I would fix immediately about this is even if it's like capitalized, I would lowercase it because that's just sloppy, right? Um, another thing is I'm noticing, okay, this they got the date of access. They got a date of access. Here's a book. Um, citation. We don't need a date of access. This looks perfect. And a lot of you guys might be using this source. You can copy it down onto your outline if you want. Um, this one looks pretty good. This is another um, 
if this is your source, you know, get this, get this source and, and copy it down into your works cited because it's done correctly. Um, here I have another internet source. Um, the only thing is I noticed like this isn't hanging a dent. So probably going to put a space in the middle maybe and then try to do a hanging. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press enter and tab because that's going to give me my hanging dent. There we go. Enter and tab. That's your friend. Um, do I have, yes, I have, I think um, this doesn't have a publisher, which it's Greek mythology. A publisher should be in italics. And always check, do you have a, a date of publication, which is 2019, that's when it was published, or last updated, and do you have a date of access, and do you have a URL right here? So that's really important. So let me check the rest of these. This one looks good. This is another um, book. This one right here looks like we have pbs.org. I think that's the publisher that should be in italics. So just be careful, even though you might be using this little program I'm going to show you, it can be wrong. Here's an example. Titans more at all. That is not an author. It is also not a article title. So I need to get rid of that. So that's going to change my whole outline because Athena, gosh, that should go to the top, right? Let me go to the top. Let me paste this here. Uh, okay, now I'm, I'm on the right track again. Now look how it took away my hanging indent. If that happens, you press enter and tab. Um, okay, let me go back down. This Zeus article, these, this, is not a, this is not an article title. This is not an author, so I need to get rid of that. Okay, so this is looking really good now. The only thing is, it looks like it's missing its date of access, which I assume that this person also accessed this on the same date. Yes, and we just need to fix it a little bit. Like, sometimes you just have to fiddle with it. Enter tab. Now, one more thing. Let me show you how to cite a website, guys. Uh, and I'm going to actually cite one called Poseidon, but I know it will fit after this because I know the title is longer than Poseidon. So here, I'm going to show you guys. I got this uh, app from the Chrome store, and this is my this is my uh, this is my website. I want to cite. Okay, uh, any information off there? I want to summarize or paraphrase. But I click this little icon. I went to the Google Chrome store, and I made sure to get the most updated cite this for me websiter. And then the next step is to click MLA. You have to click MLA and get the stuff that's not bold. Now I already see a problem with this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my outline. I'm going to paste without formatting. That's your best friend. Cool. Okay. Do you see the issue with the hanging indent? Yes. Enter, tab. Enter, tab. Yes. Now, do you guys see this? This published, that's not the author. That is not the article title. I'm getting rid of it. Greek gods and goddesses, this is a publisher. It needs to be italicized. So don't just be lazy and like grab it from there. There's some things you have to fix on it, of course. But this looks good. This is in really good shape. And it's alphabetical because this article is called just Poseidon. And But just remember, a publisher should come after the article title. Then you have a, a date of publication. Then you have a URL then you have the date of access and you're done, okay? So how long about should my outline be? It should be about two pages plus a works cited page, guys. So I told you guys the other day, like, oh, uh, you're gonna have like, I don't know, 15 facts. We probably need about 20 facts to get a really good outline going here because we're gonna present. Just make sure it's all summarized, it's all paraphrased. We don't want any plagiarism because if you plagiarize, like once in ninth grade, you get a chance to rewrite for partial credit at the teacher's discretion. But if you've done it more than once, like then you just get a zero. And in 10th grade, you don't even get a second chance. So just be careful. I'm just trying to, because you you guys have seen like stories about Lizzo stealing song lyrics. And, and it's just really important that we always give credit to our sources. Because we probably, you probably had a friend that copied off of you and you found that really annoying. Okay, thanks for watching.